you need to address a serious safety issue when both headlights fail. Driving at night with one or both headlights out is not advised. Fortunately, most problems are easy to resolve, especially if you have some mechanical experience. You need to investigate the potential causes of the headlights not working if you want to drive at night once more. In this video, we will cover 7 causes both headlights not working and we will also tell you how to fix this problem. In this video, we will cover 7 causes both headlights not working and we will also tell you how to fix this issue. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Causes Here is a detailed list of the possible reasons why both headlights not working. Bad Headlight Relay a relay controls how the headlight system operates. The low and high beam headlights are both controlled by this relay. Both headlights typically stop shining at once if the relay malfunctions. Since the issues are similar, it can be challenging to determine whether the switch or relay is to blame. Bad headlight switch. After many years of use, it is common for the headlight or dimmer switch to fail. All headlight operations are managed electronically, so if it breaks, there will be no light for you. Without the switch, you might only lose your low or high beams, though occasionally you might lose both. The switch could only be repaired by being replaced. Bad bulbs. The bulbs typically won't go out at precisely the same time. One usually exhausts itself before the other. You shouldn't rule out the possibility that the bulbs have failed, though. If you recently bought new bulbs and they don't work, they might have a flaw. Think about trying them again after returning them for a refund. Blown fuses. The fuses are the other component of the electrical system. Fuse protection is used on every electrical component to avoid overload. Power cannot be sent to the headlights when a fuse blows. If the same fuse is being used by other components, and those components don't function either, you might be able to identify the issue. Faulty wiring. A network of wires connects the headlight sockets to the system. Wires naturally deteriorate over time, becoming frayed or damaged. A rodent may have also gnawed through some of the essential wiring. The bulbs cannot shine if they are not properly connected to the electrical system. The lights may flicker until the issue gets worse if the wires are only slightly worn. This would serve as a signal to address the issue as soon as possible. Bad or corroded bulb sockets. The socket is the location where the bulb screws into the assembly. The sockets experience a lot of heat as a result of their location. The socket could experience corrosion, which would interfere with the electrical connection. The likelihood of both sockets failing simultaneously is low. Because of this, a corroded socket typically causes one bulb to burn out before the others. Wrong Bulb Types If you don't buy the right set when you replace the bulbs, you might have problems. You must make sure the headlight bulbs you purchase are compatible with your car because they are not all the same. In addition to needing the correct size, there are various types. Halogen bulbs should not be switched out for xenon or lead unless the system is prepared for it. How to fix. The only way to guarantee that the right repair is made is to begin with a thorough diagnostic analysis. You'll be able to identify what needs to be replaced or repaired if you take the time to determine what's wrong. Here are some potential options. Check wiring. Inexperienced people may find it challenging to work with automotive wiring. It's crucial to check the wiring and connectors after the headlights stop working. Replace any wires that you notice to be melted, torn, or broken. Don't forget to swap out any damaged connectors concurrently. Replace bad fuses. A bad fuse is simple to replace. You must first locate the fuse that powers the headlights. Examining the legend inside the fuse box door will help you find it. You can identify which ones aren't working with the aid of your test light. To check if the wire inside the fuse is broken, you can also pull the fuse. You won't spend more than a few dollars to replace a fuse, but you must ensure that it is a direct replacement. Inspect and replace headlight relay. You can listen for the clicking sound that happens when the lights are turned on to test the headlight relay. If you don't hear this click, the relay might not be working properly. A multimeter can also be used to check it. It's frequently less expensive to replace a headlight relay than a switch. You might only have to pay $50 to $150 for the labor and parts. Inspect and replace headlight switch. When the switch malfunctions, either the low or high beams of the headlights won't work. Additionally, switching between the various settings might be a challenge. You might shell out between $150 and $300 for parts and labor to replace a headlight switch. However, you can cut labor costs if you can do it yourself. Inspect headlight bulbs. The bulbs need to be checked and replaced next. Even though it's unlikely that both of them went out at once, you might not have realized one was out until the other failed. Take out the non-working bulbs. To replace the old bulbs, buy compatible ones. Install fresh bulbs, but avoid touching them with your hands. Check the bulbs to see if they function. The price of halogen bulbs won't be excessive. Lead or xenon bulbs are more expensive but also last longer. 
Check bulb type and bulb sockets. Consider that you have the wrong type if you recently changed the bulbs and they don't work. Check the type and size to make sure it fits. If that isn't the issue, look for corrosion in the sockets. You can quickly eliminate corrosion by using an electrical contact cleaner. When the corrosion is severe, a wire brush can also be useful. Contact a professional. In the majority of cars, changing a headlight bulb is not difficult. Along with many of the other procedures, you ought to be able to perform this on your own. However, it's acceptable to seek out professional assistance if anything ever seems too complex for you. It is understandable that inexperienced mechanics may not always feel comfortable replacing wiring. If the wiring is not properly fixed, many things can go wrong. When it's best, take your car to a nearby shop to avoid any headaches.